Hello and welcome back to Drama Investigator. Well, roll me in chili powder and spank me with a corn chip. It's the dawn of the dead. James Charles recently got hacked on Twitter and managed to get his account back and posted the most sauciest, raunchiest photos of him stating, Hi, I got my account back. Just in case I ever get hacked again, here's the only I've ever taken. Can't threaten me with it now. Get a life. Naughty, naughty chihuahua. Put it away. In other news, Betty Con CEO had a live stream and everyone was like, oh yeah, she's finally going to apologize for the mistreatment of her talent. Uh, 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 honey. No, 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 no. She did, however, apologize about one thing though. It appears they didn't make enough of an effort with the Beauty Con New York goodie bags. Here's what she had to say. Someone asked, will New York City be better this year, like more makeup in the bag? I swear to you, you can literally hold me personally accountable I will literally never let the holler bag not be like this for New York because that was whack it was it was whack and that's why we basically sent everyone those makeup kits like the, the cosmetic kits after because I personally felt terrible about it so I'm really sorry and uh, I will never do NY like that again because everyone knows I rep me NY. I live for NY. That's it. I love, I'm, I'm from LA, but I love NY. But the rest of the live stream was boring. Boring tea. I wanted the piping hot tea. I wanted the apology. We were all rooting for it, but no, nothing. In more news, Trisha Pasta recently took to her Instagram story to defend herself against haters after she went off on Instagram the day prior, exposing all of David Dobrik and her ex's friends once again. Well, she had calmed down and explained her outburst on Instagram. Here's what she had to say. Hey guys, we just made it to Chicago. Um just want to check in with you guys I know I went on a little bit of a rant yesterday I just you know I'm just gonna defend myself like I when I feel the need to defend myself as far as other things I always feel like like the situation when it calls for I will speak my truth um and until it's called for then I'm just gonna try and keep living I was I'm I was living my best life I'm still really happy and in a good place so I'm trying not to go backwards I've been working daily to overcome some like crazy sh demons that had come out earlier in this year and I've I've been working really hard on myself and my happiness my journey my own mental health and all that stuff like that so I've been trying to just like let things go and breathe things out but at the end of the day like I'm not gonna get walked over either you know what I mean um I am tired of being like bullied and like scared because someone has more followers or a bigger following or like more numbers than me it's like it, it, I've, I've held back so much because I am just trying to find peace within myself and the situation and just overall. But like I said, if someone's going to bring something directly up and it's misinformation or it's something that's like, like they don't know about, I'm going to, I'm going to defend myself in the situation I am. And like I said, I have my own truths that I don't necessarily always share, but if, if I, if I need to, I'll share them. But it's, it's something that I'm just like trying to obviously just be in my own lane and stay in my own lane. I'm actually in like such a good space in my life right now that I just want to like keep that going and keep it flowing and um not like go backwards but again like I said if someone's gonna say something about me like I'm going to I'm gonna defend myself like I've always been taught to stand up for myself and no matter what if, you, if everyone's against you um one girl who shared one of her assault stories with me on dm was like you know I got so much hate like um she's like she was when I she did a whole video about one of her experience with someone in the blog squad assaulting her but they kind of like holding her down and she goes I got so much hate <clears throat> um and like victim blaming and stuff like that and like that that sucks but it's it's important to always speak up defend yourself and speak your truth and what, if what you're saying is is truthful and and honest then you know I mean that's all we have in this world as much as I still have like anger hurt and resentment and sadness inside of me I'm truly trying to let that go it's a process it's been a process I've been doing it slowly and stuff um, but I mean, obviously there's certain things that are going to trigger those, those emotions and stuff that I've been working hard to just let go and let out. But, uh, end of the day, I don't have any ill will or like negative feelings towards like people. Like I don't, it's all like inner stuff that I'm dealing with. Like you can't control what other people say about you, what other people do to you, how other people act towards you. You can only control like how you feel and stuff like that. So everything I'm dealing with is something that I'm dealing with internally. I'm putting blame on someone or like 
holding on to a situation doesn't really help it. I hope I'm making sense. I feel like I'm babbling, but um, bottom line is, I try and stay in my own lane. If it like just I just I just want to create and do things that I've been doing on YouTube for 13 years and just kind of keep doing that I'm performing and doing stuff I love and I just want to keep doing that so anyways um yeah I'm an emotional person I'm an emotional person but I am I don't wish like anything bad and at the end of the day the sad truth of it is like I said, the, the darkness always comes to light and um, people can act like they're above the law. They can act all smug, um, but you can't, you can't be protected forever. You can't, you know, get away with shit forever. But Trisha had also taken to her Twitter and had stated, he said he wants to make things awkward. Well, let's go. Let's get real effing awkward. Trisha Pasta has lost her mind if she thinks making a full length video trashing Jeff and David, all of them, will gain her more respect. Respect is earned, not given. Look at how she carries herself. I understand why no one wants to be around her. Trisha had replied, I don't give a shit about respect. People who don't know me aren't going to talk trash on me saying I effed over one of his friends when that is not how any of that shit went down. People aren't going to lie on me. That's what they're not going to do. Trisha had also retweeted a lot of her fans sticking up for her. Someone had said, exactly. Funny how he literally said he loves to make shit awkward and even spoke about it but Trisha ain't allowed to speak and WTF is this I've been a fan of the vlog squad but damn no kitchen floor she's in control of her emotions and expressing them standing up for herself and speaking true facts that nobody else will shit Jeff said was effed up especially about her golf Trish I'm proud AF Ellie Mayo sorry but the vlog squad did her so dirty the shit Jeff said about a who was so effed up and David truly does have a bunch of yes men around him she's in the right and it's great someone has the balls to call them out now Miley Cyrus she recently split up with her husband Liam Hemsworth the media were very cruel and painted her out to be a cheater as she was caught kissing Caitlin Carter on a yacht well Miley had cleared all the rumors and had taken to her Instagram addressing the situation in full once and for all for all of her fans she said I can accept that the life I've chosen means I must live completely open and transparent with all my fans who I love and the public 100% of the time. What I cannot accept is being told I'm lying to cover up a crime I haven't committed. I have nothing to hide. It's no secret that I was into partying in my teens and early 20s. I've not only smoked but advocated for weed. I've experimented with drugs. My biggest song to date is about dancing on my and in the bathroom. I effed up and cheated in relationships when I was young. I lost a massive Walmart deal at 17 for ripping. I got kicked off Hotel Transylvania for buying Liam a for his birthday and licking it. I swung on a wrecking ball now. There are probably more nerves of me on the internet than maybe any woman in history. But the truth is, once Liam and I reconciled, I meant it and I was committed. There are no secrets to uncover here. I've learned from every experience in my life. I'm not perfect. I don't want to be. It's boring. I've grown up in front of you, but the bottom line is, I have grown up. I can admit to a lot of things, but I refuse to admit that my marriage ended because of cheating. Liam and I have been together for a decade. I've said it before and it remains true. I love Liam and always will, but at this point I had to make a healthy decision for myself to leave a precious life behind. I'm the healthiest and happiest I've been in a long time. You can say I'm twerking, pot smoking, foul mouthed hillbilly, but I am not a liar. I am proud to say I am simply in a different place from when I was when I was younger. What are your thoughts on this? Let me know in the comments. Lastly, in more news, remember that waiter who tried to expose James Chihuahua when everyone was hopping on the bandwagon of hating him? Throwback to when Tardy spilled all that tea. Well, the Chihuahua has been hanging out with the guy who exposed him and publicly apologized to him in a video. How do we know this? Well, Rich Lux brought the receipts, honey. Rich had recently managed to get a hold of a screenshot of the waiter's Instagram story. The waiter was indeed taking a photo in James's backyard and people are like, oh, he did it on purpose. But no, I genuinely don't believe he did because people these days subconsciously snap everything in their lives. So I reckon he did it by accident. But I personally believe my conspiracy allegedly, the waiter's only being all nice to James Chihuahua to avoid a lawsuit because James is extremely powerful and rich and clearly scared Jeffrey and Tati out of a lawsuit and they actually had money to defend themselves. Do you think this waiter could financially defend himself against the Chihuahua? If no. Anyway, James Chihuahua is out here leaking his own He's not bothered about anything at the moment. The waiter had even posted this photo to his actual Instagram, and this was the inside of James Chihuahua's house. He had shortly deleted this photo after people started calling him out. What are your thoughts on all this? Let me know in the comments. That's all for this investigation. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that notification bell. My social media will be linked down below, and I'll see you guys in our next investigation. Oh,